Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well. Root Beer here, of course. With more of our 2018 Fairmat paper, we're going to be looking at question 16. So, points P and Q are two distinct points uh, in the uh, XY plane, so standard coordinates, so they're distinct. Uh, how many different places in the XY plane can a third point, R, be placed so that PQ is QR is R uh, is PR, uh, so the lengths are the same. So these points are just going to form an equilateral triangle. Okay, so they give us PQ, and we have to figure out well how many other places can you have. Now you might be able to play around with this a little bit on your own and get the answer of two, but I thought I'd actually because this is a nice conceptual, almost geometric question. Uh, show you a nice little geometry way to do this. So suppose I had points P and Q. Now once those points are given, I know the length between them. And so we're looking for a point R that is the same distance uh, away from P and Q that P and Q are from each other. So this, this fixed distance, we might call it R, uh, is known. Now if there's another point R out here that is distance R from P, and if we take P to be the center of a circle, both Q and R will be on it. This is turning out to be a terrible picture, but let me redraw. I mean, it was fine up until I started drawing a circle, which is usually how it goes for me. There's P and Q. And so if we want some R, it's going to have to lie on... I cannot draw circles freehand. Maybe, maybe I'm making them too big is the problem. Let's center things a little nicer. P and Q. All right, a little better. But R must lie on this circle centered at P having radius R. Okay, that will ensure that it's that PR is the same as PQ. But we can do the same thing with Q. Have a circle centered at Q of distance R. a little bit better and R has to lie on this circle as well well that leaves us only two spots an equilateral triangle above and an equilateral triangle below now of course this circle way is not the only way you could see it as soon as you make the connection that you're looking for an equilateral triangle then R down to PQ is going to drop a, a right angle it'll be, end up being an isosceles triangle so it'll split the base in half and that forces R to lie on a line like this. And then knowing that you need an angle of 60 degrees sort of places R up here or down here. There's lots of ways to see it. I really like the circle way because uh, this is a nice way to actually construct equilateral triangles, uh, which I, you know, I've mentioned in, in past videos. This is a really nice geometric construction for an equilateral triangle. But ultimately, our answer here is 2. And however we end up realizing that, uh, is is perfectly fine. So we're, we're going to get an answer of C. And we are ready to move right along to our next question. I will see you next time for more of the 2018 Fairmat paper.